Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix this. Um, that doesn't look good. <laughs> the outlet is recessed there way too much. It looks horrible, really. It really does. So, what we're going to do is show you guys how to fix that. I mean, okay, so the problem is here. <clears throat> that the box isn't flush with the sheetrock here. You can tell there's a gap there. The box is supposed to be out about there. So I'm getting a call. Apparently I have to go in and eat dinner, so we'll be back to show you how to fix this. Get back. Hey y'all. So we're back <clears throat> and I measured from here to here and it was about what did I say oh it was about a quarter of an inch so I just went over to my shins measured where it was about a quarter of an inch and then cut two pieces out so I had like this piece and this piece here and then I just broke them in half so I have the four pieces then. <clears throat> so all I want to do is bring this out a little bit. So when I put the outlet cover on, it's not it doesn't look ridiculous. So I'm just gonna unscrew this and unscrew this. Um, not a crazy amount, not all the way, because I think I'm just gonna tuck these uh, shim parts right behind the metal here. So I just want to back it out. The ways here, just enough to where I can lodge the shims in there. So let's try that. Pushing that one in there, and use my pocket knife to bring it up so it's on that plastic. Nice. Okay. Then use the other one here. gonna use my pocket knife to just bend it out just a little bit so I can get that shim part in there. You know what? Looks like I'm gonna need to back this out just a hair more. Okay. And then and it's like kinda maybe I needed to put this side in a second. I don't know. And back it out just a little bit more. Just enough so I can get this in there, hopefully. Okay, so now I've got that one in there. And I'm going to lift this one up with my pocket knife just a little bit. Oops. I want it to stay there while I tighten it down. So, just going to tighten it down, okay, now it's snugging it up a little bit, okay, so it's holding those in there nicely, now I'll just back this one out some more. Gonna put those shins in there. Get in the other way. Okay, I'll back it up a bit more. And if these shins are too thick, what I can always just get go down on the the mat. 
mast or shim, if you will, and just trim another piece off. Okay, so I'm just putting those behind there. Then screwing it back. As it snugs it up. Um, looks like it's sticking out from the wall a little bit there. We'll see. <laughs> All right. So now I'll just take this and screw it in. And okay, so on this one, you can see that uh, the outlet itself is kind of at a little bit of an angle. I think that's because all the wiring back there was so um, either the box is a little bit on more on this side than this side or the outlet um, because of the wiring it's a little bit and I could tighten this down but you could still see that it's like this side is sticking out more than this side over here. It still doesn't look horrible. It looks way better than it did but uh, in order to fix this All we're going to do is we're going to, since this side is sticking out further, we're just going to replace these side shims with ones that are a little bit more narrow. So we're just going to, actually, I'm just going to take my pocket knife and I'm just going to trim some of this off of those. So I'm going to do that and then we'll be right back. And we're back. So went ahead and just took my pocket knife, trimmed a little bit off of that real quick. So I'm just gonna hold this here. I screw this in. Tighten that down again. And tighten the top one again. Okay, then this these shims were super easy to uh, um, just take a little bit off. So oh. well, you can see it helped a little bit, but it's still um, still a little bit more on the left hand side is so you could almost just like take a shim and put it behind those other shims like a really narrow little piece and bring those others out a little bit it's a little bit better than it was but or we could try just like Tightening it down a little bit more, or as you can see, it's kind of going into the wood here a little bit. So, I think really, if I just back this out a little bit. this one and just put it more uh, behind it ah. <laughs> put it more behind it okay maybe it will be less inclined kind of pinch into it. Okay. Oops. All right. I'm doing that with the top. And then the bottom. 
try with the bottom here. Maybe I'll... Take this one out of here. Kind of put it more... up just a hair here. Oh, can I tighten it back down? I just basically put it behind more surface area on the left hand side there. So when I torque it down it'll be more inclined to lean right I'm hoping. Oh, let's see where we are now. I think you got you get the general idea. You can keep you can keep tweaking it here and there a little bit and uh, get it to where it's going to work for you. This is not um, not too bad. You can tell it's still a little bit a lopsided, but you get the gist of this, right? Plus. <clears throat> This um, this is just in a treehouse, so I'm not super um, upset about it being a little bit off here. So I'm gonna say that's good enough for a treehouse. Um, obviously, we could, uh, if you wanted to take little pieces of wood and shim behind on the left, you could do that and then probably make it better, but. Anyway, that's how you fix that. You can just shim it up with uh, some actual shims. And if you need to trim little pieces off with your pocket knife or whatever, it's super easy. Um, so thanks for watching, folks. It's super cheap, super easy, it looks way better. And like I said, this is just for a tree house. If, I, if it was for my actual house, I'd probably, yes, take the extra time to maybe cut a little bit uh, wider piece for the bottom, for the left hand, the bottom left and just pull that out a little bit, but yeah, I'm not super concerned. It looks good enough for a tree house. So thanks for watching everyone. Hope that helped you with your little problem there. And there are pieces that you can buy. That looks way better anyway. There are pieces that you can buy um, at the Get Home Depot or Home Improvement Store or whatever, where um, it's like a little plastic tab that has, um, that fits right behind there. And it's, uh, different you can make it varying widths i'm not sure if they have one where you could have if your thing is a little bit lopsided if you could fix that but obviously just like using a little piece of shin that you cut or whatever would be able to fix that if you're super concerned about it so thanks for watching everyone have a great day out there